As its name implies, parallelism is used to control the parallel orientation of one feature to another. In its simplest case, it is used to control the parallelism of two flat surfaces. In this example, we see that the parallelism tolerance describes a planar tolerance zone that is the thickness of the listed tolerance. All points on the feature surface must lie between two planes, ten hundredths apart and parallel to datum A. The planes may be anywhere within the tolerance zone established by the feature of size. You will note that the size tolerance in this example also controls the parallelism of the surface within a forty hundredths wide tolerance zone. For this reason, a parallelism tolerance will always be less than the total size tolerance. If it were the same, it would be a redundant specification, and if it were greater, it would have no effect because the size tolerance must be maintained. You will also note that because all points on the surface are within the planar tolerance zone, the flatness of the surface is also controlled. If the part function requires a flatter surface than allowed by the parallelism tolerance, an additional feature control frame can be added, but the flatness tolerance would necessarily be less than the parallelism tolerance.